This leader is provided to facilitate adjustment of focus. Please be aware there are spoilers contained in this video presentation. And here's to you, Gozer the Gozerian. How we wish that you would just go. Oh, oh, oh. So much more than just an octogenarian. Destroying NYC with your Stay Puff chum. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. That, that was rad. Ghostbusters was released in 1984. It was directed by Ivan Reitman. It was nominated for visual effects in song. Got a nomination for the Golden Globes for picture, actor, and song. I am really surprised it did not clean up with song. I mean, the visual effects for the time, I thought, were <laughs> outstanding. Although when I look at it now, it hasn't kept up with age. I still think that the taxi driver is terrifying. Uh, not so much that, but the dog part. Okay, who brought the dog? The, the miniature stuff. Yeah, the stop action. Obviously, now they use CGI for like everything. And, but for the time, it actually, like it still holds up. I read an entire article about out of these, there is not a whole bunch of CGI going on. It, it's a, a lot of practical effects one of the notes that i made was i think this may have been my first jump skip Get her! <laughs> the girl that uh, was doing the psychic test was uh, chachi's girlfriend in charles and charles i knew she was in something i'd seen <laughs> that's what made me go digging because i'm like i know that girl vinkman needs to stop talking to the epa guy and may i see this storage facility no. Call your attorney. And why not, Mr. Vankman? All of that stuff is admissible in court. Because you did not use the magic word. You need to just stop talking. What is the magic word, Mr. Vankman? Please. Being funny and all is great, but it doesn't change the fact that you don't want to incriminate yourself. Uh, somebody figured out that the Stave Puff Marshmallow Man is 112 and a half feet tall. Venkman is a kind of a womanizer, a ladies man and stuff like that. He goes on a date and he brings along a sedative to give to Sigourney Weaver. I have some news from the world of Gozer. How is she? I just whacked her up with about 300 cc's of Thorazine. She's gonna take a little nap now, but uh, she says she's the gatekeeper. Hmm, Bill Cosby. But my taste buds say it's too good to be fat free. The person that you cast opposite Bill Murray has to be very particular because... It has to be a strong force. Um, yeah. Because they'll get just bulldozed if you don't. I wish uh, Winston was a little more apparent as a, a Ghostbuster. Tell him about the Twinkie. That part was written for Eddie Murphy. Holy mackerel. <laughs> As he was ascending, I think that would have totally decimated this movie because his star was rising so quickly at that point. If he'd done this movie, it would have been an Eddie Murphy movie instead of an ensemble piece. Right. Yeah, no doubt. Winston's really important because he's an everyman. Yeah, he's, he's not a scientist. He's us. The main thing about him is that he's brave. Do you believe in UFOs, astral projections, mental telepathy, ESP, clairvoyance, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, full trance mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, and the theory of Atlantis? Uh, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. There was the line... Uh, Sumerian, not Babylonian. Yeah, big difference. Uh, when they were fighting with the, with the mayor, I have so many friends that are that guy. It's like... That's not even what we're arguing about here. What we're arguing about is whether or not you blew up a block of the city. Oh, that's not really germane to this conversation. I, I'm looking forward to the uh, the afterlife one that's coming out. So no ukuleles in this, but Bill Murray plays the piano. I hate this. I got signed, and I give this for you guys. I would give it a real solid three and a half. I feel like it's a classic. It's not something that I want to watch every, every day. There are people, including my wife, that when she's had a long day, Ghostbusters or Ghostbusters 2 goes on. I give it four. I, I think it is an absolute classic. It, the balance between the mains in this, uh, the comic timing, I, I think it was terrific. I would also give it four. I, it's a solid movie. It's still 
funny even watching it now. So it's over.